Yo, the Z Fold 6 is here and I'm gonna break down everything that is new about it and everything that I like about it. Let's go. All right, so first things first, let's talk about the cameras. The cameras are basically mostly the same. However, there is a change that the leaks didn't really talk about. And the Z Fold 6 has a new ultra wide camera and it is just gonna be better, better quality overall. So look forward to that. And then it has some new housing and stuff like that and new processing with the new chip. So the cameras should be a little bit better, but they're not gonna be you know, drastically better than the Z Fold 5 and even the Z Fold 4. Not too much changes in the camera, but there is a new ultra wide camera for the Z Fold 6. Moving on, you already know the outside screen is bigger, so the, it's a slightly bigger outside screen, but the cool thing about it is that they kept the slimness of the outside screen, so the phone is still one-handable, and you know, you should have a good one-handability experience with the outside screen, even though it is a little bit bigger. So people who complain about it's too cramped and stuff like that, maybe they'll have a better time with the Z Fold 6, maybe they will enjoy it more than you know the five and the four and especially the three but for the other people who like the slimness they will definitely enjoy the one hand ability still being there so i think that was a good change you know slightly increasing the screen size but keeping the form factor nearly the same there's not too many physical changes you already know that it's flat and it has boxy edges and stuff like that which it honestly looking at it now it doesn't really the edges are not that bad i thought they would be you know pokey and uncomfortable we'll see uh, later on but for now it looks all right but the changes inside are pretty decent and significant so so in terms of performance you obviously have the new snapdragon 8 gen 3 chip so it's going to be a little bit more powerful. However, one important change that they made is that there's there's a 60% bigger vapor chamber inside of the Z Fold 6, which means your gaming performance, your long sustained performance should be a little bit better. 60% bigger is a pretty significant upgrade in my opinion. And hopefully that allows the phone to stay cooler combined with the more efficient 8 Gen 3 chip and just uh, providing a better overall experience when it comes to video editing, something that I personally do a lot on my phones, especially Samsung phones, and multitasking, Samsung Dex, things like that, and also just gaming in general. Because the foldable phones, they're so thin, they don't have a lot of space to dis disperse heat, so they tend to throttle and stuff like that after a while of playing, but a 60% bigger vapor chamber should be really nice, so hopefully that translates well into the real world we'll have to see later on so stay tuned subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna have all the z Fold 6 content you already know it's gonna go crazy out here i'm gonna use it in depth i've been using the samsung foldables for a long time now and i like i try my best to use all the features and just take them in and they are my favorite phones so subscribe for all that content the next big thing about performance is samsung has announced that they're working with partners to optimize vulcan games um optimize like ray tracing and stuff like that like specialized uh gaming features and um gaming quality things so you know hopefully that translates to better overall experience and optimization in you know a lot of bigger games in the future i know not every game is going to use ray tracing and stuff like that but hopefully this is the start in that direction this is something that i always wanted samsung to do just you know work with people work with developers and partners and creators of games to you know produce optimized versions so that these phones can actually take advantage of them because these previous z folds it's not that they're not powerful it's just that the optimization has hasn't been the best and then combined with the you know the thin form factor not a lot of space for heat to dissipate the performance hasn't been that good in games so hopefully this year we get some crazy results okay so <clears throat> and then you already know the brightness has increased a lot this is actually a really good change because with my z fold 5 it's not like the brightness is bad but when i'm outside using my z fold 5 there's times in my my car like my tesla i'm charging and i'm outside and i'm trying to use it and i can barely see the screen like i'm trying to video edit i'm trying to you know work on stuff on the big screen and it's nice but sometimes i can barely see the screen so 2600 nits i'm definitely going to enjoy that change i think it's going to be really good to use outside especially when i'm charging like i said that's that's one of the times when i use my phones a lot and the z fold 5 it's recently been catching up to me like you know it's kind of annoying so brightness is actually something i'm looking forward to for this phone the lighter weight is really uh nice so so 239 grams which is exactly the same as the one plus open vegan leather back phone so you know the weight is something that like people loved about the one plus open me too personally with the vegan leather back version of the one plus open it was super nice to use that the weight was just it was crazy like at first i was thinking like you know it's not that big of a difference but like actually using it 
I was like, yeah, damn, this is really nice. So 239 grams for the Z Fold 6, plus it has a glass back, it has all the durability improvements, all the same things, the wireless charging, good cameras, good build quality. It's gonna be crazy at 239 grams, so I'm looking forward to the weight for sure. Opening up the phone, this is some of the biggest changes, some of the changes that like I was looking forward to the most and why I think uh, people should upgrade to the Z Fold 6 more than like everything else because you know a lot of it's going to be similar and a lot of it's going to be incremental but this is the most significant change in my opinion and it's the inside screen so so Samsung actually created a more durable screen and they created this like liquid thing li liquid coating it's called S STF coating and it's supposed to be like it's supposed to keep a slim form factor you know make make sure this, the screen is not too thick and stuff like that not not as many layers as previous years but it's supposed to be more durable and more powerful hopefully this translates to actual like real world differences in terms of durability and longevity of these phones because as we know a lot of these z fold phones they don't they don't last more than like a year or two so hopefully the z fold 6 will actually last for like seven years so, so the new durability of the inner display with the new STF coating, it should be nice. And I'm looking forward to just having a foldable phone that I don't have to worry about. We're one step closer to that. And like I said, this is why I was looking forward to the Z Fold 6 the most. And I think it's a major reason for why some people should upgrade to the Fold 6. Like if you have a Fold 4, I know it's not that big of a difference, but the durability reasons, I think the Fold 6 is worthy of that. The Fold 5 was already good and a step in the right direction. The Fold 6 is a little bit more better than that. So, and then, you know, of course, some more insignificant changes. You got thinner bezels on the inside. It's not like a huge change, but it's cool to have more screen real estate overall, uh, more um, screen to body ratio, stuff like that. But overall, the Z Fold 6 is not like, like I said many times, it's not a crazy change, but it, in a lot of ways, it actually is a nice quality of life upgrade. So you already know I'm making these YouTube videos, so I'm gonna upgrade to that. But I do think it's gonna be a good phone. I think it's gonna be the best foldable phone because in my opinion, the Z Fold 5 was the best last year. And now the Z Fold 6, in my opinion, is probably gonna be the best foldable phone this year. And you know, we're gonna have to see what OnePlus and Google are cooking up. Hopefully they're cooking something nice because I love competition and I love, and I love the market just being competitive in general. I love, you know, trying out different things. So hopefully they cook up some nice stuff. But the Z Fold 6 is looking like it's gonna be the champion despite having similar cameras from last year. I'm looking forward to trying out that new ultra wide camera as well. I know it's not gonna be anything crazy, but it's nice to have some, some change, you know? So yeah, let's get into reviewing this phone, man. 